Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft tutorial. So today as you can see behind you I'm going to be telling you how to make an automatic um, wool farm. Obviously before I do start make sure you do subscribe and um, pretty please. Um, you won't regret it. And if you do you can always unsubscribe. But yeah um, as you can see here this is a sheep and what a sheep does to um, grow wool is it needs to eat grass uh, or a grass block here. And obviously that means that um, the grass needs to be able to grow onto the block where the sheep is about to eat. So the first requirement for a farm is um, the sheep must be in access um, to a grass block that can you know regrow after the sheep has eaten it. So in this, like basically this is all you need, even this is a bit too complicated. Then I'll go through um, each thing later, but first make sure that um, your sheep grass plots can easily be accessed by other grass so it can regrow. So for example that's why I put um, glass blocks here so then this grass and this grass and this grass um, doesn't you know stop growing like so if you see here soon this grass block will just become dirt because it can't access the light. So yeah make sure your sheep is able to um, eat grass and also afterwards that the grass can grow back. So um, now to actually what you need for the farm, what you will need is it's quite simple really. First of all, a minecart with a hopper, as you can see here. And then a railway track, as you can see, to place a minecart on a hopper. And then a normal hopper, and then a chest. And you can see I've got some more. Now the advantage of this is that um, the minecart with the hopper can grab blocks from entirely, like one entire block above. And obviously the sheep needs to be... Um, standing on or at least close to um, a full grass block. Now a normal hopper would be able to reach up there, a minecart or the hopper can. And then bam, it deposits the wool into the minecart or the hopper and then into the hopper and then into the chest. And you can also have a very nice sorting system as well if you want to have multiple different colours of wool. Now what you also need is a dispenser with shears. Now you can get, as you can see here, 238 um, wool blocks or yeah, wool, well known wool shearing so it could be more than 138 wool blocks um from single shears and you know it only takes two iron to make one so you can it's quite um a cheap way to get loads of wool and then you need some kind of um redstone clock to share the um wool or share the sheep now i have here one that you can set up and turn on and off it's quite simple it's a comparator turned on and then redstone around it and then um, a repeater into the dispenser and as you can see um, it sets off quite quickly. Now the important thing to note is that you can have your um, clock running all the time, which means it technically sets off the dispenser again all the time, but only if the uh, sheep actually has wool will the dispenser actually fire and um, your shear gets used up a little bit. So don't worry if you have a redstone clock that's going on all the time, your shears won't be just get used up all the time. Um, they'll only get used up if the um, sheep has wool and it's about to get sheared so yeah to be honest that is all we really need for a sheep farm i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions be sure to um ask in the comments i answer all of my comments so yeah thank you for watching and goodbye